So I'm in the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm in the Jack Pine section. Bruce National near Johnston Harbor. It's May. 9 p.m. Sunset. After sunset, even. And we got American Woodcock displaying and painting. Places where I usually find woodcock, this would be considered kind of late in the year, but no, up here, it's a lot colder. They arrived a bit later, probably. seem to consider this place to be home, at least for now. It's mid-May of 2022 and I've returned to Johnston Harbor for a few days. I've arrived a bit late to record the birds during the day, but it's the perfect opportunity to focus on recording birds at night. My name is Rob, and this is Songbirding. So because of how quiet it is here, the only background sound is the waves. Some of the clearest I've ever heard for American Woodcock. Clearest peats. and the aerial displays as well. I can hear them really well, although I know in a recording it isn't going to be as loud as I hear it. Earlier tonight I heard Sandhill Crane fly over and I do have a recorder planted at the entrance that may have captured that. I've come back to plant several automated recording units. I've got seven of them right now deployed. Oh. Now I'm hearing whippoorwill. That's perfect. I think I'll be staying in here a bit longer tonight. I'll be trying to get closer to that whippoorwill. So 
It sounds like it was closer to the entrance, the wiper wells. Maybe I'll just wait here a few minutes. Definitely a very persistent whippoorwill, but quiet right now, or rather distant. wait here for a couple minutes. See if it gets any closer on its own. Alright, it's not getting any closer yet. Oh. This woodcock is nice and close though. Start walking back. Starting to lose the light now. I'll listen for the whippoorwill. I might not be able to get it. We'll see. It's seeming more like it's off to my right as I head back to the entrance. Hopefully I'm not cursed to only get quiet recordings of them. Ooh. Something just zoomed over me. Is that another American woodcock fly over? Thought for a second maybe. This wiper will flying by, but then I remembered. Whippoorwills are very graceful in flight. American woodcock are not. Night jars like the uh, whippoorwill look a lot more like swifts and bats when they're flying. A lot of gliding mixed with their flapping. Here we go. Another American woodcock. I thought I was done with American woodcock for this year. Guess not. Oh. Thought I heard a whippoorwill briefly. Just as I'm approaching the entrance. Well, no such luck. Hearing it somewhere, but it's very distant. So I'll probably, as I drive to the campsite, stop at a couple of spots. See if I hear anything. Whipper will like. Just in case. And if things go well, next thing you'll hear is some whipper wills.
it's night time at the campsite again. This time I think I got the whipper wheels a little closer. Seem to be all around me. Just also, just also heard a very distant great horn owl. Very, very distant. I'm seeing the occasional shooting star too. It is completely clear. This is a dark sky preserve. Dark in the sense of very little light pollution. When it gets this dark it's actually quite bright though. This gets to the level where you have a hard time finding any spots that don't actually have stars on them. When it gets this dark you notice that everything is really just gradients. Also just barely perceiving some northern lights. It's faint, but as my eyes adjust to how dark it is out here, I do from time to time see bursts of light in the north. These bursts of light are very quick. So I think I might also be occasionally hearing nocturnal flight calls from migrating birds going overhead. A few times where I've heard something overhead that just didn't sound like any of the whippoorwills. We're getting quite a bit quieter now. But I imagine if I wait a little longer, I imagine if I wait a little bit longer, they'll get a little louder again. ones that are closer to me are getting louder again. That was coyotes. For a moment I wondered if... Oh, here we go. Song wasn't fully done yet. It's 
coyotes are sometimes referred to as the song dogs. As they do sing a bit of a chorus together like that. At first I wondered if it was a wolf which would be very rare here. Oh. A lot of interesting squeaky sounds overhead. Probably migrating birds. And still some whipper wills in the background. closest ones to me have not resumed their singing yet. Now, I've only recorded coyotes in person a handful of times. I believe this is the fourth time. It's not something you can plan for. It's hard to seek out. We catch them all the time on bioacoustic recorders though very common thing in the winter especially. So the whippoorwills are ground nesters and they camouflage so very well. You could walk right past one and not notice it. You could find one perched on a tree and not notice it. If you don't know the species, look it up. They look very different for birds. Oh. Getting some distant coyotes in. Even more coyotes. This one's really close up.
wonder if I'll be sleeping to this all night. I don't know what time they stop at, or if they do. Well, of course they do, I just mean, do they stop midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m.? Daylight? Last time I was here, they were far enough off from where I was camping. I had to seek them out. I could hear them in the distance, but they weren't this close. So it wasn't until about 11 p.m. they really got started, as far as a chorus goes, which lines up to what I remember last year. Probably one of the most repetitive bird songs there is, the most constant. More coyotes in the distance again.
just had another one fly by me. They are insectivores. They fly around catch insects. They have very strange mouths that are you know, reminiscent of swallows, I guess. It's not a species I've gotten a chance to record up this close before. Their range has reduced quite a lot in the last few decades. I imagine I probably encountered these a few times growing up. Just don't remember it well, but the areas they're in is much diminished now. I have to come to places like this hours away from where I live to find them now. Another flyby. Well, this has been a good night. Got some American woodcocks earlier, along with a distant whippoorwill. And now some closer whippoorwills. Sounds like, no, nope. I was about to say that one's about done, but no. Nope. I was going to stand here until that one ended its song, but it may outlast me tonight. I might need to go catch some sleep so I can get out early. See what we have in the dawn chorus around here. It's also pretty cold out here. So my hand's a little cold holding this microphone. Songbirding in the Quietude was recorded, engineered, narrated, and created by me, Rob Porter. With cover art and logo design by Lauren Hilton, and Creative Commons music from Martin Shellikins. <laughs>